Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. So for 2019 to 2020 Premier League fixtures have now been released. So what I thought was, let me create like a short video just to give you guys my opinion and my thoughts on these new fixtures. Now it's still early days and I'm not going to sit here and plan until the Premier League starts. But I thought I would give you guys my thoughts on these new fixtures. And you guys know me for a long time. I did this last season. I went through the fixtures, uh, the player prices, pre-season and transfers. And you know what? It worked. I had a really good start and I'm definitely going to do that again. So if you're new to the channel, new to the game, please subscribe and always drop a like. It really does motivate me to create these videos as this is a hobby of mine. It's a journey that I want to share my thoughts with people. And if I could help a few people out there, that's a massive bonus. Now, with these new fixtures, what I like to do is basically only look at the first eight fixtures. Now, I don't want to talk too much in detail in this video, but basically, I look at the first eight and then I cut it. So I'll look at the first four and then I see which kind of teams has got really good fixture run up, meaning that they got a high chance to win those games. Meaning, you know, a high chance for them to win gives us higher chance to kind of get points from clean sheets or goals or assists. So then what I like to do is look at the second part. So game week five, six, seven, and eight, and see if I can find any other teams that has got really good run up in those fixtures. Then I kind of will plan things out and I'll be like, okay, the first four fixtures, these are the teams, these are the players that I'm going to go and get. And then later on, I probably will remove one or two of them and get someone else like, example, let's just say Arsenal's really good run up from five, six, seven and eight, like maybe three home games or something. Then yeah, investing in an Arsenal player like uh, Lacazette or Aubameyang could work out really, really well. So as you can see in the background, I picked out the top six clubs in the Premier League. Now what I'm going to do is just go through the fixtures, the first four fixtures and give you guys my thoughts for those four. So we're going to start off with Arsenal, first game against Newcastle away. Then they have um, Burnley at home in game week two, which is a really good fixture for them. But then in game week three, as you can see, they've got Liverpool away and Tottenham at home in game week four. Now, those two fixtures are very difficult. Now, looking at this Arsenal team, I cannot see any good options in their back line or in their midfield. The only players that I'm thinking about is Lacazette or Aubameyang. But, okay, you know what? In football, anything can happen, right? They can always score against these um, really difficult fixtures like Liverpool and Tottenham. But I still feel like getting someone else like Sergio Aguero with really good fixtures might be a better option. So next up is Chelsea. As you can see, first game, Manchester United away. Very difficult fixture. And plus, Chelsea has lost Hazard. They went to Real Madrid. So that is a massive loss for them. We need to see who's going to step up. Plus, with this transfer ban, we have to wait and see. However, if you do want to invest in a Chelsea player, maybe that defence line could be a good option. Because after Manchester United, they got Leicester at home. Then they got Norwich. Then they got Sheffield United at home. Really good fixtures there. So I think investing in a defence there, defensive line from Chelsea could be a very good idea. And as you can see, we've got Liverpool, we've got Norwich at home, Southampton away in game week two, Arsenal at home in game week three, and Burnley away in game week four. Very, very good fixtures. Even that Arsenal game, I can see them scoring a lot of goals. And you know what? These fixtures are just too good. Not only are they good in game week like one to four, I looked, they're good from five to six to seven to eight and so on. So a lot of people are going to triple up on Liverpool players. And we are talking about Trent, um, Robertson, Salah, Mane, you know, all these players, all these good options for us to kind of have. I'll go through some of the selections in a sec. And then we've got Manchester City, the first game away against West Ham. Um, second game, Tottenham at home. 
Obviously, it's a difficult fixture, but I can still see them doing really well at home. Bournemouth away in game week three, and in game week four, we've got Brighton at home. So, really good fixtures for Manchester City. We're looking at Sergio. Bernardo Silva could be a very good value for money. Uh, Laporte's going to be expensive, but still a very, very good option. And then you got Manchester United. Um, kind of a difficult fixture here. Um, Chelsea at home, still going to be difficult. Then Wolves away, I think that's a difficult fixture. And Crystal Palace at home, it's still a difficult fixture. You know, they um, Crystal Palace caused a lot of problems for Manchester United. Southampton, uh, yeah, decent fixture for Manchester United to do well in. But I don't know what's going to happen with Manchester United this season. They really need to buy some really good players to kind of just do well. Um... But yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be investing in Manchester United players right now. I think if they sign a really like big player, then maybe, but we'll see. And you got Tottenham. You got some fixtures are good, some fixtures are really bad. Um, the first game, Aston Villa at home, really good fixture for them to get a lot of points. We're looking at Harry Kane here. Um, game week two, as you can see, Manchester United, Manchester City away. Newcastle at home in game week three. And in game week four, you got Arsenal away. So two difficult and two really good home fixtures. <sighs> maybe getting Kane in or maybe one of the defence. But because there's two difficult and two good, I'd rather go invest in a Manchester City player or a Liverpool player. So those are my thoughts on the top six. Uh, obviously, this was just kind of a brief kind of talk. I'll go through in depth later on. And so, yeah, I'll go through a little team that I made in that fantasy football game and show you guys uh, how my team will actually will look like. So as you can see on the screenshot, I basically did like a little draft on players that I'm thinking to get or want in my team when the Premier League starts. Um, obviously, the prices hasn't been updated yet. So once it's updated, obviously, I won't be able to get all of these players. I might need to downgrade one or two players. Um, but yeah, just a quick like little brief. Um, definitely thinking to get like a really cheap goalkeeper, uh, and go for that strong defense like Laporte, Trent, and Luka Dean. Players that could get a lot of points for us. Then get too cheap. I put Van Bissaka there because there is an interesting kind of a player to think about. If he goes to Manchester United, maybe he might be a good option. Uh, got Delafeu there. Actually, Watford's got decent uh, fixtures there. I'll go through in depth um, even more in these fixtures, um, you know, throughout the week. So uh, I thought I'd do a little brief one now. And you got Salah and Mane. Definitely thinking to triple up. Definitely thinking to get these players. You need to really think about. Um, now there is one problem. Salah could change position to a striker. If that happens, then I think I'm just gonna go with two up front two like premium strikers and get really cheap bench striker and then maybe go for that five in the midfield or more in a defense so yeah just a little heads up Salah's position might change or a few others might change as well so we need to be careful with that three Manchester City like I said um, Laporte uh, Bernardo Silva could be value for money there I think it's going to be around eight million you got Fraser and you got Wilson. Really good fixtures. The first two games is against the pro, uh, the pro, uh, promoted um, teams. And obviously, you got Mane, Sergio, and Raul Jimenez. Well, it'll be interesting to see what kind of price that he's going to be. So, those are my thoughts on the fixtures. Not all of them, but just a, just a few of them on the top six at least. Um, these are some of the players. What I'm thinking of, like looking at Manchester City and Liverpool players and kind of working around those players, kind of building a team around them. So those are my first thoughts. Obviously, things might change. Well, things will change. So we'll see. We'll see what happens in the preseason. We'll see what happens with the price changes and the transfers. And that is about it. Thank you so much for joining in, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, come give this video a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.